So we're in early May 2017 and we're in the cusp season where it's been warm for a little bit. Now it's getting cold again, threat of frost over the next few days. And so what I thought I would do is share this design. It's like just an experiment at this point, but it feels very promising of the intersection of starting seeds and finishing off winter's compost. So I'm going to break down what's going on here and hopefully there are some components of this that maybe are exciting for other folks to try as well. Let me get into it. So the background story behind this particular compost ring is this was a, a space that I was going to rear black soldier flies. I'm going to link now to a video where last, I think June, I put this together and this just scrap roof metal. I found the pieces for free, cut them all to a common height, blah blah blah. I would watch that video to see about the construction, but there's hardware cloth underneath with the idea that this way mice and rats and things can't get in there. And what it's being used for now is all winter we used it for kitchen food scraps and uh, different compostables that we didn't want to send directly into the chicken yard, coffee grinds, bones from creatures, that kind of stuff. There's wood chips, there's leaves, all that, and the whole thing is full. We want to let it mellow before it goes into the garden, but there's a ton of heat, latent heat coming up. And so what I've done is a uh, local supermarket has these plastic containers that they're throwing out all the time. They get flowers, cut flowers in them. I drill holes all through the bottom, and I figured, let me stack some function. There's heat and protection coming up from this. This is protected from mice and voles and things being able to get into these. And there's also an opportunity to inoculate wine cap strafaria. Now I've got other videos where I talk about that in greater detail. But just as an example, at the bottom of each of these containers, I put fresh wood chips that had mycelium or spawn for wine cap. And now the heat of the compost triggered the spawn run in the containers and now the spawn is going down into the compost. So I'm inoculating this whole compost bin with wine cap while the compost bin is inoculating my containers with warmth and it's really working out nicely. So like here's a container that's all wild licorice. They're germinating beautifully. The cold evenings don't seem to bother them very much they can remain in the containers for a while. There's enough soil in here they could probably stay the whole season and then in the fall I could tease them out. And I'll tell you what I'm most excited about here is sea buckthorn. They're just getting started. So these are all baby sea berries. I've pricked out most of the weeds. They're like little fat dicots coming up. But there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. And I think they're really responding to the bottom heat of the compost to get them going. And all I did was use a little thin layer of sawdust on top to retain moisture. And again, each of these are inoculated with wine cap. So it's a thick layer of wood chips in the bottom. I talk about how I make my potting mix in another video, which I'll link to here. But it's a thick layer of wood chips, then it's my own um, kind of potting mix, which is a mix of rotted wood chips, old manures, some perlite, some biochar, and then a very thin layer of actual seed starting mix into which I put my seeds. So now all of these pots are labeled. They're germinating beautifully with tons of tons of plants, high valued plants, all nitrogen fixers in here. They're enjoying the bottom heat. They're exchanging genetic information of the mycelium load that they have down into the compost. And it's giving me a yield from this compost while I'm allowing it to rest. So I put a little thermometer in here. It's not screaming hot. I don't think you'll be able to read this. I'll just tell you. It's at 70 Fahrenheit. Well, this is a very short probe. If I went deeper, I would guess there's pockets in here that are 80, 90 but not much, much more. Uh, so all that latent heat coming up, genetics going down, and in a nice tidy space on the edge of the yard, I theoretically will get many hundreds of licorice, perennial cold hardy licorice plants that are native to this region, and upwards to many hundreds of sea berry seedlings, which will grow for a season and then be set out to have living nitrogen-fixing deer, 
resistant fences that make some of the most nutraceutical fruit on the planet. All from old rotting debris and old plastic and old roof metal. Zero dollars for the win. This is permaculture. It's stacking functions and obtaining a yield and valuing the marginal amongst many other concepts. Thank you for watching.